Picture this, it's a hazy summer evening, the sun dipping beneath the horizon, casting the world in a warm golden glow. The year is 1961 and you find yourself seated in a dimly lit, cozy theater. The anticipation in the air is palpable as the flickering film reel begins to spin. And there it is, the iconic title, One-Eyed Jacks. As the melodious tunes of the opening credits fill the room, you're transported to a world of gritty desperados, rough justice, and a story that has etched itself into the annals of cinematic history. It's hard to forget that first encounter with One-Eyed Jacks. The way Marlon Brando's smoldering intensity captivated your senses, or perhaps that unforgettable showdown along the windswept beach, where loyalty and revenge collided in a thunderous clash of emotions. It's a movie that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey, and every frame is a testament to the power of storytelling through the lens of the Wild West. Now, let's delve into some fascinating tidbits about this classic film that you might not know. From the cast's off-screen antics to the unexpected twists in its production, One-Eyed Jax holds its own trove of secrets waiting to be uncovered. So, saddle up, partner, and join me on this journey through the captivating world of this cinematic gem. One-Eyed Jax, released in 1961, is a classic Western film that stands out for several reasons. It originated from a screenplay by legendary actor Marlon Brando who also stars as the brooding and vengeful lead character, Rio. The story revolves around Rio seeking retribution against his former partner, Dad Lonworth, portrayed by Carl Malden, who had betrayed him. This tale of betrayal and revenge unfolds in a Mexican coastal town, offering a unique twist on the traditional Western setting. Brando's direction brings a distinct, psychologically layered approach to the film, contrasting with typical Westerns of the era. The characters are morally ambiguous and multidimensional, a deviation from the black and white hero-villain archetype, making it a standout feature of One-Eyed Jacks. The film's atmospheric visuals and strong performances contribute to its lasting impact, as it remains a point of reference in the Western genre. Though not an instant success, One-Eyed Jax has gained recognition over the years for its influence on later Westerns, and its complex characters and storytelling have left an indelible mark on popular culture. In the 1961 movie One-Eyed Jax, some interesting details stand out. Notably, Marlon Brando's eating habits during filming were quite the spectacle. According to Carl Malden, Brando's dinner often consisted of two steaks, potatoes, two apple pies a la mode, and a quart of milk. This hearty diet required constant alterations to his costumes to accommodate his ever-expanding waistline. Furthermore, it's worth noting that One-Eyed Jacks marked Pina Pellicer's only appearance in a U.S. film. This Mexican actress played a pivotal role in the movie, and her performance left a lasting impression on the audience. Additionally, a curious piece of trivia links One-Eyed Jacks to another notable Western film. Marlon Brando's silver-trimmed saddle from this movie was reused by bandit Chief Ali Wallach in The Magnificent Seven, which was shot after One-Eyed Jacks but released before it. In conclusion, One-Eyed Jacks is not just a classic Western film, but also a treasure trove of intriguing behind-the-scenes stories and Hollywood connections. From Marlon Brando's hearty dinners to the unique career moment for Pina Pellicer and the saddle's journey to the Magnificent Seven, this movie continues to captivate audiences with its history. In 1961, a Western film titled One-Eyed Jacks made its way to the big screen. The film's production, however, was far from smooth. Filming began on December 2, 1958, but the movie was not completed until the autumn of 1960. This lengthy production process was partly due to the unconventional approach taken on set. The actors were encouraged to improvise, leading one Paramount executive to dub the film Stanislavski in the saddle. This improvisational style diverged from the typical structured approach to filmmaking at the time, adding to the film's unique character. One notable aspect of the production was Marlon Brando's inexperience behind the camera. Brando shot six times the amount of footage usually used for a film at that time. His indecisiveness, along with going over schedule and budget, led to Paramount eventually taking the film away from him and recutting it. One-Eyed Jack stands as a testament to the challenges and creativity that went into its making. While Marlon Brando's unconventional methods may have added to the film's complexity, they also contributed to its enduring legacy as a Western classic. 
In the end, One-Eyed Jax was a film born out of experimentation and passion, making it a notable entry in the Western genre. In the 1961 movie One-Eyed Jax, notable facts revolve around the film's production. Marlon Brando and Carl Meldon teamed up for the third and final time. The film, shot using the costly Vista Vision process, significantly exceeded its original budget. Originally estimated at $1.8 million, the final cost of One-Eyed Jacks escalated to $6 million, with Marlon Brando personally overseeing the production, leading to the creation of around 250 feet of film, surpassing the industry average. Moreover, it's interesting to note that Stanley Kubrick was initially set to direct the film and had intended to cast Spencer Tracy as Sheriff Dad Longworth. However, Brando, who had Carl Malden under contract in his production company, resisted replacing Malden with Tracy, leading to a significant casting decision. These details shed light on the film's behind-the-scenes dynamics and the unique factors that contributed to its making. This iconic 1961 Western offers a glimpse into the challenges and decisions that shaped its production, making it an intriguing piece of cinematic history. Marlon Brando's 1961 movie One-Eyed Jax was a significant project for the actor. He once called it one of my favorite pictures. However, what many people might not know is that Brando's initial vision for the film was quite different from the final product. Reportedly, Brando's first cut of the film was a sprawling five hours long. Despite the movie's box office success, he was unhappy with the 141-minute final cut. He expressed his discontent, saying, Now, it's a good picture for them Paramount, but it's not the picture I made. Now the characters in the film are black and white, not gray and human as I planned them. Brando's dedication to his craft went beyond the editing room. He would spend hours sitting near the ocean, waiting for the waves to become more dramatic to capture perfect shots. This commitment to capturing the right moments showcases the level of detail and passion he poured into One-Eyed Jax. In conclusion, Marlon Brando's One-Eyed Jax was a film close to his heart, even though the final version did not fully align with his original vision. His dedication to the project, both in the editing process and in capturing the perfect shots, reflects his commitment to his art. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the captivating world of One-Eyed Jax, it's not just a farewell but an invitation to reflect. This 1961 cinematic gem, a symphony of emotions and drama, has touched the hearts of many. Now, it's your turn to let your thoughts unfurl like the sprawling landscapes depicted on screen. What is it about One-Eyed Jax that resonates with you? Is it the timeless allure of Marlon Brando's performance? The wild and rugged beauty of the western landscapes? Or perhaps the intricate layers of the story that kept you on the edge of your seat? Whatever it may be, your unique perspective is a treasure. We encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, or favorite scenes from this film. It's in these shared reflections that we can truly appreciate the enduring impact of cinema. Did you shed a tear during a poignant moment, or were you on the edge of your seat during a tense showdown? We'd love to hear about it. Your connection to One-Eyed Jax is a thread in the rich tapestry of its legacy. Your words can breathe new life into its timeless narrative. So, don't hesitate to share your voice, for it adds depth to the cinematic conversation. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Let the discussions begin and let your thoughts flow freely. Together, we celebrate the magic of one-eyed jacks and the enduring power of storytelling. Until our paths cross again in the realm of cinema, keep exploring, keep sharing, and keep the love for film alive.